Tony promised me that he would give me something that would change my life um, and change it forever. He would give me practices that would mean that I would be able to maintain things forever. Um, and I had never felt that before. I'd always felt it hard kind of getting to the gym. I'd go through phases. But now with what Tony's doing with me, I, I mean, I still have a crazy schedule. I still have a baby to boot. <laughs> But, um, and with lockdown too, but I have maintained the weight loss and I have, I'm actually down lower than my pre-wedding weight without getting a lot of exercise in. Now, I would like to increase my exercise, but as it stands at the moment with a busy online uh, teaching schedule and teaching singing and piano online um, with run around after a one-year-old and with trying to fit with my husband's schedule too, um, there isn't a lot of time for exercise bar a few walks. Um, in the week, I try to get out for a little walk every day, but with following uh, the calorie um, guidelines, and um, I'd say the breastfeeding is helping too, but um, I'm, I'm still losing weight consistently every week, and I'm still smaller and a lower weight than I was before I got married, so it's amazing. So, well, Katrina, tell everybody that's listening, what was our initial first week like be honest <laughs> i think i've already documented this on facebook so you're really turning the nice guy tony called me the worst client he had ever had <laughs> why was that <laughs> because you asked me for measurements and i left out some of the measurements because i said i'd never been asked for them before <laughs> Let's just say it wasn't the civil conversation that we're having now. The air was kind of blue. <laughs> well, b bottom line, it was completely different than what you were used to. And you've, you, you have been training with trainers before and you've done multiple fitness programs over the years. And I was always critical of them because I said they were bad diets or too much cardio or I always find a fault with it. But you thought it was just me being brotherly, isn't that right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you still have your brotherly moments, to be fair, but. <laughs> but, but bottom line, but, but bottom line, what changed you? <laughs> what? Ben's laughing because he's been privy to these conversations, so. <laughs> oh, of course. So what was the most uh, unusual change for you in the first few weeks? Um, I guess that I, I didn't have to be doing the same level of exercise. I mean, you, you know that I, um, I picked up running a, a few years ago. I picked up running and I got very much into it and I did a half marathon and I was really into it and I just got really into the cardio and you wouldn't have swayed me from telling me that cardio was not the best course that you had to do weights and everything as well. And, um, so starting out with this kind of with watching my calories and everything else, I was kind of thinking, well, I'm not getting the exercise in, so this isn't gonna work. But actually, I, I've never lost so much weight consistently and kept it off to the point where I'm not worried about putting on kind of weight during the lockdown or, um, you know, I'm still eating, I'm still eating kind of a lot of what I like and everything else, but I'm just staying within my calories, it's great. And I'm not a drinker, you know, I'm not, I never was. Um, I would have had more of a savoury tooth than a sweet tooth, um, but I'm still kind of managing to to kind of eat nice things and um, and and still doing that and keeping the calories low. Um, so I guess the 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 initial thing that I was different was that my understanding always was that you know if you're not doing the exercise, you're not going to lose the weight. But I mean, I know I'm breastfeeding too. I know that's a big thing. <laughs> But um, I think he's just laughing every time I say that. He's probably dreaming about his nap here. But um, I think that's made, the, that's made a big difference for me because I think I would have self-sabotaged before if I didn't have the time to exercise. I would have went, ah, to hell with it. Whereas I don't have the time to exercise properly now and yet here I am doing it and consistently losing weight. So would you say that because you have clarity and why you're doing what you're doing, that now you don't self-sabotage, so it has a massive impact on your mindset for continuing this type of approach. Oh yeah, 100%, my, mind, my mindset has completely changed. 
like it's funny my my husband has said to um a few people now I, I know he said it to yourself as well he said i have never seen katrina so um like just dogmatically kind of i'm doing this stubbornly going i'm doing this and i'm sticking to it and everything else i mean i think it's been about is it eight or ten weeks now i'm not sure but um I, I it's so easy i just do it every day 